that was her power. And back on our spring, or rather before we get into that, let's go the Netflix route. Last of favorite simulation, we were able to set up blah 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 blah. There you have the Netflix intro sound. That's by the way. Let's get into business, shall we? So, I'm pretty sure most of us were expecting the last episode to actually be us connecting our endpoints. Yep, um, we went some other routes that were necessary in order for us to um, do our validation just to ensure that we do things the right way. So remember, this is a fintech application and as a result of that, your validation is quite necessary so as not to do shitty things. All right, so with all that said and with all that done, I think it's now time for us to actually connect it. And just to be sure, we have this working, we can select our account, we can specify the account number we want to send to, then we can specify money. And if we go back to the back end, here is what the endpoint to transfer looks like. So it's very straightforward transfer. And if we go to the function, here is what it takes. It takes in the two account number, and this is actually what you want to be looking at because this is what we'll be referencing on our front end. So it takes in the two account number, the amount, and the from account ID. So with all that said, let's run our front end and couple this together. So we are right back here in our front end. And since we are going to be attaching a new endpoint, let's go to our networks. We can close this for now and have the transfer endpoint. And for some reason, it looks like it's already here. Yeah, just we're ahead of time, even though we've not used it, we've already represented it here. So yeah, with that done, I guess we are done here. Let's move on to the send money or rather you send money hook. And on this form, we're going to have the unsubmit. Then we can have undo submit. Okay. So actually, we are meant to send the uncomplete function to the undo submit. So let's do that. So first, it is going to take in the event, the submit event. Then we send the uncomplete function to it. So we can make use of the function to round up this once we are done sending the money. So let's create our function. So we can front here, cost. So here we're going to have E, which is of type react.form event, then HTML form elements. Actually, this should not be bracket, it should be this. All right. Then the second one is the uncomplete function, which is just a function of time void. So we can have uncomplete. Okay. So now we have our structure defined. Um, let's get to use Azios if we've not already. And we have a loading here. However, this loading is meant to handle for when we are verifying our user. Happy, there is an issue here. So let's take a look at how we are making use of this loading. So we try to find it. We will see that every time this loading comes into action, there's going to be a loading spinner here. And what that means is when we try to send money, because the loading is associated with our use as use, it's always going to trigger. So as a result of that, we might have to create a fresh one. I'll remove this. Or instead of trying to create an extra state, we can manipulate things here. So I'll revert things back. So I will only show the loading when we don't have a verified account. So if we come back to where we're using the loading, which is here. So what we are trying to load for is the verified account. So the assumption is if verified account already exists, then this loading becomes unimportant. And that's the manipulation we can do in regards to that. So here we can have if loading and not verified account, then we can have the loading. But if it's loading, but we have verified account, then the verified account should show. So just like this. All right, cool. So with that done, that means we still have the ability to use the loaded here for our submit out button. Okay. So the loading is going to be automatic because um, it's associated with the use as you, so we don't have to set anything. And now we have our endpoint. Let's define our payload. So we have um, const payload equals to, so let's verify once more what we are expecting. So we come back to the back end. So we want the two account number, which is this. Copy this. Come back to our front end and we place it in. So the top account number is going to be the data dot account number. So we have that information. We actually did set that. Yeah, data dot account number. Then the amount. That was data dot amount. Then finally the from underscore account ID. 
and that's going to be the active account dot id so our payload is verify and before we send this to the endpoint let's actually say that the payload is valid and before that let's prevent default because we are trying to submit um a form so as to prevent the default flow so yeah what i want to do here is just press so.log payload okay cool so let's come back to our browser let's pull up a second uh, browser that's going to be at hrglito then look at our host so let's log in with our second account. So we have account one. And we are in. So let's copy the account number from here. Let's go back to our first account and paste the account number here. So yeah, we get this and everything is still working. And now let's enter our amount. Let's pull up our inspect console. So we have 4,000 let's send. And here is our payload. So the amount we are sending here is a string even though Go is expecting a number. But because what we have inside the string is a number, then there won't be an issue. Go will just convert it and it will be okay. So that's on that. So as you can see, our payload is correct. So let's plug in the endpoint actually. So coming back here. Here. So here we can get access to the response. So post response equals to await is used under. So account URL dot transfer then the method is going to be post the payload is payload and true because this is going to be an authenticated flow so if res is okay then we can have this so we can post success money sent successfully then or complete then we close the model looking all good right so that's all we have to do to send money actually so let's test this if it's working so come back to our browser we already have the account we want to use but before we do that let's come back afresh let's start from the beginning so we refresh, we send money, we specify the account we want to use, which is this. Then we specify the account number, which is result. Then we specify the amount. So first and first, let's try with something above our regular amount. So 1 million. And in spaces like this, you most likely want to format your amount feed so that it makes sense to whoever is typing. This looks so random, I can't really tell if it's 1 million or not. So that's why that is important. Okay, so... My expectation was wrong. I assumed that Go would be able to do the conversion, but as a person, JC cannot on my just string into the strut field. Yep. I wasn't expecting that. Programming languages like JavaScript, so even though we ate it so much, will have done that. I believe Python will have done that. But um, we have a easy fix, so let's convert to our code. So the expectation here is to convert this to a number. So we can do pass float, if I can still remember, here. Yeah? pass floats, then the amount. Okay. So that's what we expect. Let's come back to our browser and test this. So we still have everything intact. We are working with React, so everything should still be reflective. So let's try again. Yep. So you don't have a node balance. So that's the expectation. So let's send 10,000 instead, like this. Send. All right. So money sent successfully. Our account balance have been updated. Actually, it looks like we are sorting this based on the updated ads. We might want to change that. I don't think. Sending money from one or another should affect the sort flow. So yeah, that's about that. However, the flow we are trying to achieve has been achieved. So let's come back to our second browser and see if we have the money in it here. So we refresh. And as you can see, we have the money. So let's also send our money to our dollar. So we come back to this. Send money, which is the USD. And we send 5,000. Oh, okay. This is account number. Uh, do something else but that's weird we shouldn't be able to send money if we've not filled everything yep so let's fix that quickly so the submit button should not be available unless we have data dot amount so we can have disabled so disabled is when it's loading or when not data dot amount okay the loading is when it's loading. All right, so that's all we have to do in regards to that. Yeah, that was an oversight, but it's better we actually saw it so that our feed rate app will not be misbehaving. So we're trying to send uh, money from the dollar account. So let's get the dollar account number once again. Okay, not need to open a new one. So the dollar account here. Come back here. Send money. Select account dollar. So now we can't send money until we fill in the right places. So yeah, we have to specify the amount. So I have to send five thousand dollar. I will send. All right. So it means we can send money to both accounts, and it's working well, and our validations are working.
So on to the next episode, um, this is where we'll be running off. And actually, I think this is time to discuss our next flow. This is more like the first benchmark, sending money internally. So we need to explore the second benchmark. But the second benchmark involves us creating a completely new system, which is going to be the settlement system. And to do that, we, you know what we have to do. We have to go through a lot of routes. So instead of going to that benchmark as next, what we'll be visiting is instead of using Paystack to add money, let's create our own payment gateway. Okay? So that was going to be our next patient. I mean, as you can see, it's getting exciting already. So why not subscribe to stay updated on the flow? Remember, I've decided to be consistent unless life decide to play game. But yeah, I think this recent week, I think we can see some consistency. I plan to maintain that by our support. So thank you guys for staying with me throughout the whole flow so far. And let's look out for more in the future. Bye for now. Oh.